I was cooking supper on board Marzipan when suddenly the entire stove caught on fire, also lighting up the contents of my fry pan. So, what do you do when there's a fire on board your vessel after this? Hi everyone. I have an update on the upgrades we've been making thanks to your support either on Patreon or just by watching commercials and supporting the advertiser's product. We now have a new camera set up capable of 4K and a new to us Manfrotto tripod with a great fluid head. We're searching for an editing program that uh, fully supports 4K and still fits within our budget. All this thanks to your continuing support. After reading posts on Cruiser's forum, I'm convinced that anything can cause a fire on board, including damaged lithium batteries and bad wiring. According to Boats US, an onboard fire is one of the most feared events in the annals of the sea. What you do about it in the first few seconds will likely determine the outcome. As with any fire that threatens people or property, the time between ignition and detection is critical. Fiberglass burns ferociously and wood, particularly dry resin soaked wood, burns quickly in engine spaces. Spraying fuel, whether diesel or gas, creates an inferno. Fumes quickly uh, fill spaces below deck making them inaccessible and deadly. The key is knowing as soon as possible that something is burning. If you can take uh, effective action within the first few seconds, you may be able to stop the fire while it's still contained. That's what happened with me, my fire. I already had three fire extinguishers on board and one right by the galley. The flames were out in seconds but I learned a lot in those few seconds. Install smoke alarms in boats with cabins and enclosed engine spaces. It's a very good idea as the first line of defense, especially if anyone's sleeping on board. Other marine grade uh, smoke and heat alarms have remotes that uh, can alert an operator at the helm, saving critical seconds in the event of a fire. As with all battles, you have to learn about your enemy before you can fight them safely and effectively. The type of material that burns classifies as a fire. Type A fires are fueled by uh, combustible materials, usually solids such as wood, paper, cloth, and plastics. Class B fires involve flammable liquids and gases, gasoline, diesel, varnish, while Class C fires are powered by energized electrical circuits or equipment. So think of Class A fires as solids, Class B fires as liquids, and Class C fires as electrical. Fire extinguishers are rated by the class of fire that they extinguish, so, um, such as Type A, Type C. Type C fires are used just for electrical fires. For example, an ABC multi-purpose extinguisher can be used against all three classes. It's important to match the type of extinguishing agent with the class of fire you're up against. Water is effective against a class A fire, but spray it at a frying pan full of burning oil, like in my case, um, which is a class B fire, it can spread flames throughout the galley while using a Class B against a Class C fire could result in electric, electrical shock or electrocution. Your best all-around choices are multi-purpose extinguishers that are effective against all classes of fires. They take the guesswork out of which fire extinguisher to use and save space on board a boat. Be sure you have the correct number of, of approved extinguishers on board and more the better. They should be uh, within quick and easy reach and in conspicuous places. Portable extinguishers should be located near the galley, the engine compartment, and in all of the living spaces.
Often boats um, have enough extinguishers, but they're not located in strategic places. For instance, all below deck where uh, a galley fire could prevent access from the helm doesn't work. Mount an additional unit in the helm or in the cockpit where they're available to uh, the vessel's operator um, and the second uh, fire is discovered. The extinguisher we buy at Costco or Canadian Tire are pretty much disposable. It's recommended to replace them every six years. Check your extinguisher's gauge monthly to verify that your extinguisher is still fully charged. Save the old ones. You can practice a fire drill by putting out small set fires ashore. Everyone on board should know how to safely use a fire extinguisher before the need arises. Commonly, fires can start in engine rooms, galleys, uh, where batteries, perhaps protein, propane or fuel are stored. Many fires start in the engine room, typically from electrical malfunctions, followed by fuel leaks and overheating. The, uh, the galley is another likely spot due to cooking mishaps and things like that, although to a lesser extent than is popularly thought. Develop a fire action plan and share it with your crew. Provide primary and alternative escape routes for all spaces, but particularly sleeping areas. Here's what to do when a fire happens. Remember, act quickly. This is, uh, is a fire. It's happening right now. This is why fire drills are very helpful. Uh, you don't have to think about it. You know exactly what to do. If a fire occurs while in a marina, it might be best to evacuate the boat and dial 911 and let professional firefighters handle it. You may want to help your neighbor move their boats away from the fire and the smoke, though. Remember that fire extinguishers are small uh, quick fixes. If you can't put out a fire with one fire extinguisher, two at the most, get out. Out on the water, uh, try fighting the fire while someone else calls a mayday and musters everyone on deck with their life vests. Uh, they have several laminated copies of mayday protocols, one by the radio and one in the cockpit. Check with your uh, local 911, use their non-emergency number by the way, to uh, see if uh, it is a good idea to call on a cell phone for help. This is rarely the case when out in the water. Marine radios are monitored by most boaters as well as the Coast Guard, so they are your first line of safety if you have a fire on board. Here is the correct Mayday script. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Marzipan, Marzipan, Marzipan. Our position is 43.6532 degrees north, 79.3832 degrees. Repeat, 43.6532 north, 79.3832. Off Gibraltar Point, we have a fire on board in the engine room. The vessel has started taking on water. There are two people on board. One passenger has a mobility disability. Marzipan is a 26-foot blue-hulled sloop sailboat with a white cabin top. We are wearing PFDs and are in the cockpit. We require immediate assistance. We have fired flares and are preparing to abandon ship using our dinghy before the fuel catches fire. Over. If you have a dinghy, tender, or a lifeboat, and you cannot extinguish the fire, be prepared to abandon ship. If uh, you do not have any of the above, when advisable, try to board nearby vessels. Remember not to prematurely jump into the water if help has not arrived. 
you don't want uh, to add hypothermia to your problems. Now I've got uh, a PDF uh, handout I can send you uh, to prepare yourself for a Mayday call. Just email me at the address below. We have uh, videos on uh, Mayday, Pan Pan, and Securite protocols. You can link to them at the end of the video or through the cards on the upper right hand of your screen. I hope you found this information useful. Remember to always make safety your number one boating priority. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the ship's bell to be notified when we post the next video. Thank you very much for watching.